channel Hog Wizard. Today we got Mike Ox, one of my brothers from the Motorcycle Club that should not be named for now. And uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a comparison um, on this review, not Road Glide against Indian. Indian. Well, it's going to be Harley against Indian, right? right, right. Um, my thoughts going from a Harley Davidson into riding an Indian, what it feels like, do I think it's worth getting into an Indian, and my honest uh, opinion about it. You want to talk about it a little yeah, bit about it? So, bike? this is a 2020 Indian Chieftain Dark Horse. This is the Icon series. So, the graphics, they did that uh, with the Icon series. Uh, it's uh, 116 cubic inch, 1890 cc. It has uh, intake, tune, exhaust, stage two cams in it, um, and uh, the various lights that are in here now. Um, I mean, how do you like it? I I love it. It's my second one, so <laughs> <laughs> so that, yeah. that that says enough there. Yeah, I absolutely I absolutely love it. Very comfortable bike. Um, I mean, I. I do you ever I see? I fell in love with it. Do you ever see yourself getting into a Harley Davidson? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely. Well, not. that's his opinion. So <laughs> that's what it is. Stay tuned. Um, towards the end of the video, we're going to talk about who won the raffle, um, the shirt and the koozie. I'll be putting. I'll be putting somewhere something up in the screen of who won the uh, uh, the giveaway. All right. So, for those of you who don't know, ignition buttons right here. You also start the bike. Just by hitting the ignition switch if you want. One press starts it. So, you have all the buttons, different buttons here. Let me turn it off. You also have a switch, switch right here that will cycle through your different pages. And these are all customizable too. So I can change whatever I want. So if I don't want my fuel mileage here, I'm say I want my fuel mileage up here, just a simple click of a button, I can take this and, and drag it and drop it wherever I want. So I can put it up here, put it down here. Or it also gives you options of- Like presets. Presets. So uh, I'll hit hand controls on one thumb. So your left turn signal, right turn signal, hold down for your flashers. All one button, horn, lights, audio, volume up, volume down, change songs, what have you. On the right side, there is your adjustable windscreen. So that's that's full. Double tap, it goes all the way back down. Cruise control, real simple. Press once, turn it on. Left sets it. And then you can increase, decrease, and obviously your ignition switch. Uh, I put these grips on. I like having this, this little palm guy right here. So on the highway, you can fully relax your fingers while maintaining throttle. Um, 100 amp audio speakers in here. Uh, I put the various lights on the front. So you come around to the front. Vent light from Custom Dynamics. I bought these on Amazon, pretty cheap. Installed the LED, so the in the headlights up. Mm, I think that's about it. I think that's about it, brother. All right, so a little bit of uh, information about this windshield. I was not a fan of the windshield going up and down at first, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. Why not have it on the motorcycle? It does work, it's convenient. You can put it up and down. It's really windy. Some days are windier than other days. And it does work. I don't know why Harley Davidson has not um, done this to their motorcycles. Even the new CBO doesn't have that. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a nice feature, you know. It, it is. It really is nice too. It's like if you want to feel the wind in your face, put it all the way down. If you're on the highway and you want some of that wind out of your face. You want to hear your music better. Putting it all the way up. I mean, that's what five, six inches of difference right there, from from full full extension to all the way down. Now so got, that, that's an awesome feature. One of my favorite things about the bike. It is. Uh, have, you, have you talked about the lockable and unlockable side? Oh, packs? yeah. So as long as the key fob's on your person, one touch, lock settle bags. Unlock, lock. So you never got to take your key fob out of your out of your pocket to lock the settle bags. It does have lock lockable 
I mean, if the key fob dies, you can put the key in there and lock it. But I mean, it's real nice to just hit the button and walk away from it. And after a certain period, I mean, it's like 10 minutes or so, uh, if somebody tries to unlock the saddlebags, the alarm will go off. The horn will start beeping. Okay. Which is, which is that's awesome. That's a cool too. feature. Yeah, that's, sure. that's a pretty cool feature. Obviously, it has the locking uh, forks. There's a key key slot right here on the side of the fork to lock to lock the uh to lock the forks one way lock the forks so so nobody can steal your ship right um what else brother what else i think we pretty much covered the I whole think, i think we got most yeah. of it yeah i'll be taking the ride and i'm gonna give you i'm gonna tell you guys my honest uh opinion about this motorcycle now it is not a fair comparison so uh just for the fact that the roguelite is it, it it's a little heavier than um the Indian. Yeah, this is 790. 790. 790 dry, 830 pounds with a full tank. 800, 830 pounds with a full tank. Yep. Obviously, the road glider, my road glider over here is going to be heavier. Uh, this bike will feel lighter. Uh, but that's not, you know, we're going to talk about rideability. How does it feel cornering, turning, making U-turns, um, the suspension, all that stuff. Uh, this will be a if we had a street glide, it would be more of a closer comparison. Yeah, that street glide's the, this is the, the competitor with street glide. Oh, yeah. one other thing, brother, I forgot to mention. So <clears throat> you pop this, this cover off right here. So get this out here. So this is your air shock port. I mean, it comes with a little hand pump so you can adjust uh, your suspension. So if you got a passenger, cargo, you can adjust the uh, the rear air shock, which is pretty cool. That's one of the things I hardly did. Uh, they got rid of the um, air suspension, the air shocks. Um, Harley was having a bunch of issues, if I'm not mistaken, with uh, dry rotted fittings, and they were start they started to leak with time. So they went with old uh, regular sp uh, spring um, shocks. Uh, but you know, who's not to say that Indians? Motorcycles have I mean, a better suspension when it comes to air, you know. It, it, see, it seems to work. I mean, I haven't had any issues with it, and as far as I know, Indian hadn't had any problems with it, so they they kept it. You know. All right. Well, let me get on the road and give it, you know, give it a spin. And let you know what I think. All right, guys. I had some uh, technical difficulties with the uh, my SD card run out of space, so I had to. Uh, uh, raised everything on it and now we're back again so that's good so okay we're gonna get back to the test test uh test uh ride all right so here we go so it, it's it's definitely a different feeling coming from my rogue glide um, st um street lights and this indian and street lights um uh, they tend to be closer to you, so it's a different feeling you feel. I mean, at least to me, I feel more cramped in just because I'm used to the uh, road glide where uh, you have, you know, you, you have more space. Um, the Indian Challenger is just like the road glide where you have more space in the front. But I got to tell you guys, I actually like the setup. This feels, um, I'm in a really natural sitting position on this bike, surprisingly. Um the bars feel great, and um, I like that everything is right in front of me. It's like smacking me in my face, so to speak. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, guys, this motorcycle is amazing. Um, the suspension feels great. And I, I, I have aftermarket suspension in my Harley Davidson. I have Legends. And they, they also feel great. But, you know, for a stock bike, Indian did a pretty good job with the suspension on this bike. It, it's, it doesn't feel bumpy. It feels, it feels good. It feels good.
Christ. This, <laughs> this, this bike has so much power. It is unbelievable. Compared to my Roguelite, this thing is peppy. I mean, it just gets off the line and it pulls like a train. This is incredible, guys. I mean, I mean, I'm, I, I don't have any words. The bike feels nimble, like you would expect for a high-end motorcycle. I'm not doing much of uh, much talking because I'm actually enjoying riding this bike. It feels great. It really does. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm I'm not the biggest fan of Indian motorcycles. I'm a uh, diehard Harley Davidson fan. Um, I love what Harley Davidson stands for. Their uh, their history. You know, Harley Davidson. It's a relic, right? I mean. You're, you're riding the piece of history. Um, Indian's been along for a long time as well. Um, I just like, I mean, I, I like Harley Davidson, but I, I might see myself in the future um, giving an Indian a try and, and maybe I get into it more. Um, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm always going to be a Harley Davidson fan. Um, no questions about that. But I, I, I enjoy riding this motorcycle. It's a beautiful motorcycle, guys. It's, it's a beautiful motorcycle. The, the paint job on this bike, nothing about this bike feels cheap or like, I don't know, like a Honda, Kawasaki, or Suzuki, or all these other cruiser uh, brands where obviously Harley Davidson um, exceeds you know in the on, on the fit and finish and i think that indian in the past i don't think their fit and finish you know has been the best but they're they're getting pretty good i mean they're up there now they're i will say indian fit and finish is as good as arlie davidson um i mean it, it's it's an it's an amazing motorcycle there's, there's no other way to put it. I mean, the fact that the new Harley Davidson's now come with, contro with controls just like this or similar to this lets you know that Indian has been, Indian ha has been making motorcycles that their customers want, right? And that's important for any brand, uh, uh, cars, motorcycles, you know, whatever you're buying. You want a company that listens to the consumers and say, okay, this is what people want, so let's give it to them. Um, it seems like seems like Harley does it. Harley does it too, but they do it a little slower. Um, the new uh, the new road glass, street glass, the new uh, the new body style that came out, they did listen to uh, to the to the customers and consumers, but they have a lot of uh, Indian and Harley share a lot of things in common. They're both high-end motorcycles. There's no questions about that. Guys, I'm, I'm cooking in the sun. I need to see if I can get out of here. It's a fast motorcycle. There's no doubt about that. Um, he does have a stage two on it. I mean, he bought the motorcycle like that with a, with a stage two. It's got that potato sound on the exhaust, and the acceleration is incredible. It is. 
I have been fortunate enough to ride the 131 from Harley Davidson, and that thing is just not, that 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 thing is a monster. This motorcycle's uh, engines are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It will be kind of interest interesting to see. Oh, there's a dog on, on the truck. It will be interesting to see. Um, how big engines will be five years from now, five, ten years from now? That dog is checking me out. That, that's a pit. I revved the bike and he looked at me all weird. in Miami where people honk they put the green light and people are honking right away Oh my god, this bike is ridiculous. Oh my god. This is the kind of motorcycle you ride and the next day you're back at your dealership, you know, getting a stage two or stage three and you're like, hey man, I rode this bike and it feels great. I want my bike to be like that. This thing has a lot of power. The bike feels extremely nimble. Um, it could also be because I'm used to a heavier bike uh, with my road glide, but I've ridden street glides before and it's about the same feel. They, they are lighter bikes. You can toss them around a little better. <laughs> oh my god man it's funny because i told my buddy i was like hey man look i'm not going to be doing crazy things you know crazy shit on the bike because you know i got to record the video but i just can't help it i cannot help I, I can't help the feeling of cracking that that throttle and just feeling that torque and horsepower and it throws me back and i'm like oh my god it's, it's intoxicating some camera difficulties you gotta love Miami traffic man this is insane can't wait to get out of here It's a beautiful bike, guys. Everything about it is beautiful. You got Indian insignias everywhere on the tank. You have it in your speedo. It's just insane. The amount of torque this thing has. Wow.
this bike just wants to run. Alright, we're gonna give it a little bit of juice over here, so let's downshift. Alright, that's second gear. Here we go. Alright, here we go, here we go. <laughs> oh my god! This is stupid. <laughs> I gotta make my bike faster. I wanna give a big shout out to uh, uh, Mike Ox, my brother, for allowing me to take this bike on the little test uh, test ride around his house and uh, to bring you guys uh, bring you guys a video. There's a lot of hype about Harley Davidson. There's a lot of uh, trash talk about Indian. The truth is, they're both amazing motorcycles. I don't think one is better than the other one. If anything, the Indian is better than Harley. It succeeds Harley and it, it has more features. The only thing you're getting with Harley is you're getting, you're getting a relic, a piece of history. It is also a nice motorcycle, beautiful motorcycle, but Indian has all these little Easter eggs that do make you think about it twice before getting another Harley. You have the windscreen that comes up and down. Um, you got the lockable saddlebags. I mean, it's just, it's a lot of stuff that you're like, hey, I'm already paying 40 grand for a motorcycle. Why can't I have all these things already on it? And that's where Harley needs to catch up. They need to catch up. They need to give the consumers what they want. I'm always going to be a Harley fan. I love Harley Davidson's. Uh, but I wouldn't mind, you know, whenever I become rich, I wouldn't mind having uh, an Indian motorcycle in my garage and taking, take, you know, taking, taking the first spin. I love this motorcycle. It's just ridiculous. Oh my God. Even though I, I, even though I'm pretty sure this bike has a really nasty cam, just by the way it sounds, and sometimes when you're coming to a stop, she, she kind of like, she wants to turn off on you. I have a feeling that this bike has a really, really heavy cam on it big cam. And that's one thing about my Harley Davidson, my Road Glide. Whenever I have my tour pack on and I have the bike loaded and I have my girlfriend on the back, my bag is pretty heavy and I can tell that the engine is I'm, how do I explain it? Don't get me wrong. I mean, if I want to, you know, having the bike loaded with my girlfriend in the back and the tour pack, if I, if I want to pass a car, I have to downshift. If I want to, like, get, get up and go, you know what I mean? I have to downshift. Where in a motorcycle like this, I don't, you don't, you don't have to downshift. Suspension feels great. Even though we're even going over the train tracks. Oh my God. Every, every gear in this motorcycle pulls like a train. There's no lag going from third to fourth, fourth to fifth. It just keeps pulling. I mean, it's well, 
it's a it's a good motorcycle. It's a really good motorcycle. There's no other way to do uh, It doesn't matter how much I, you know, how much crap I talk about Indians. The truth is, after riding this bike, um, my my uh, my ideas about Indian changed. I do like, for some reason, and it, 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 it could be just personal preference, but I do like the way Harley Davidson looks. I think I like the way they look better. But when it comes to features and an engine, I think Indian takes it. This is incredible. For some reason, my camera keeps falling down. I think, hey guys, I think it's all that torque that's making my camera fall, fall backwards. It's a comfortable bike. Um, like I said before, the sitting position on this motorcycle is a, it's it's amazing. I feel I'm gonna say I feel as comfortable, if not a little bit more comfortable, on this motorcycle than I, than I do on my road glide. I don't know. It could be the it could be the bars. Um, I have 14 inch, and I think these are 10s or 12s. I don't remember, but. It's a really comfortable motorcycle. It just goes and goes and goes. So like I said at the beginning, guys, in the intro, um, this is the video where I, 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 ch I already chose the, the winner of the uh, giveaway. Um, I'm going to put the winner of the giveaway somewhere up in the screen. Um, thank you guys for the comments. Thank you guys for um, sharing your ideas and concerns. And, it, you know, I, I love reading comments. I love reading the comments and, and interacting with, uh, with my viewers. It's a really good feeling. Um, I do want to make a disclaimer because uh, I, I, I owe it to you guys, right? You guys deserve to know um, why. Uh, if you have noticed in my videos, I'm in a motorcycle club that should not be named, but in my videos I talk about uh, that you know, I, I say that I say a lot that I'm in the motorcycle club, but I never say which motorcycle club. Uh, and I want you guys to understand something. There's a lot of politics in the motorcycle world, right? Like in the motorcycle clubs, there's a lot of politics. And unfortunately, unfortunately, um, anything you put on social media nowadays can come back and bite you in the ass. 
that is why um, uh, that is why it, you know how do I put it that is why the big hit honchos in the club don't want you to be riding with a motorcycle cut they don't want you to be uh, uh, saying which motorcycle club you're in because anything you do on social media can come back and bite you in the ass you know like if you ever if you ever have to go to court or something they're going to be digging they're going to be digging and digging and it has happened before and that's the reason why um i don't say which motorcycle club i'm in or ride with my motorcycle cut uh but i do want to bring it up to their attention because at the end of the day, this channel is everything motorcycle related, and I don't talk about MCs over here. I talk about motorcycles, parts, and accessories, uh, but I do want to start to get into a little bit into the motorcycle world, um, the, the, the motorcycle world and um, some key points, and uh, when you're riding on the highway, how to approach a motorcycle club, what to do, what not to do. Uh, if I get permission from... Uh, from my higher ups that I can do it, uh, that I can ride my, with my motorcycle card and talk about these things. I will do it for you guys. All right, let's give it another rip. Second gear. I'm like a little kid right now. I went to the to the candy store, to the ice cream store. I just can't stop twisting that throttle for some reason. It just feels it feels amazing. All all these pulls that I've been doing uh, have been in second gear. Because I can imagine the first gear is just all it's gonna do is spin. Uh, that's how much power this, this bike has. If I take off in first gear, I'm not going to go anywhere. Got a biker up ahead. Think he wants to race? I don't know. We'll see. Come on. One light to the other. He's not a razor. He's like all the way back there. Having said that, guys, uh, thank you for watching the video. Drop a comment, like, subscribe. Share the video to your friends. Maybe they, uh, they're looking into buying an uh, Indian motorcycle, and this will be a great video for them to watch. The bike feels great. The bike run, runs great. Uh, the bike handles great. It looks great. Um, the finish, fit and finish is great. I mean, there's nothing bad to say about this motorcycle. Like, nothing, absolutely nothing bad to say about this motorcycle. 
at the end of the day, it's all about preference, uh, preference and what you think looks the best. If you like the way uh, Harley Davidson look, then buy a Harley Davidson. If you like the way Indian looks, buy an Indian. Just know that they're both really good motorcycles, and you're buying top of the line. It's like you're buying Indians and Harley Davidsons are like the Ferraris of cars. Okay, there's nothing better than this. This is the top of the line. Indian Harley is top of the line. So, I, like I said, at the end of the day, it's all about preference. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, stay tuned for more videos. See you later.